Welcome to our live training session number 13, part four. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at doing our wide open throttle tuning on 90 through octane, as well as 90 through octane and meth injection. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's jump into the live training session so we can get started. Welcome back here to our live training session here with our C5 Z06. So in the last video, we took a look at our closed loop tuning method. We took a look at how to determine if the switching voltage was correct and the switching behavior from our O2 sensors in closed loop. So now that we understand that, we're ready to take a look at doing our full throttle tuning and moving into the boosted portions of our table. So the process is actually really, really straightforward, but we need to go ahead and change some things in our calibration file. So if we actually jump in here to our engine and we jump in here to our power enrich, when we were previously creating the base calibration, I purposely forced it into open loop and I made it stay out of power enrichment, not targeted richer air fuel, so that we could run it stoichiometric. Now we're in closed loop and we're running in that closed loop state and we're going to be transitioning from closed loop into open loop once we get into high enough throttle ranges and load ranges and we'll go in and then start to target our power enrichment mode here and richen up the air fuel. So what I'm going to do here and my tables, my throttle tables, we can see if we have hot and we have a cold. Um, we'll find that I've raised the thresholds here really, really high. So it's really hard to get into power enrichment. I want to make that a lot easier because we want to transition in once we get into boost to have a richer air fuel mixture. So looking at my table here from 4,000 and, and, and higher, I'm going to be setting the values here to 20. And then probably from zero to something like 1,200, I'll set the values to 50. Click equals. And then between them, I'm just going to do a horizontal interpolation, just kind of fill in the bank blanks. So looking here at 3,200, I have to be 29% throttle and higher to kick into p p uh, power enrichment. That, that may be too low of an engagement, but for right now, we need to make sure we get into that and transition into it so that when we're doing our wide open throttle pulls, we're going to be commanding that air fuel that we want. So let's go here and copy this. Let's go here and paste it and make sure our hot and cold tables are the same. Now, even though our threshold right here for hot select is 285, to essentially block out the hot table, I always make them the same just to make sure it's consistent and I don't have to worry about it. Now the other thing I wanted to go back over real quick in our base calibration, we set our EQ ratio, or that's going to be our fuel to air ratio. We set it here above 2400 to 1.28. That's going to be the equivalent of around 11.4 air fuel. So that's what we should see, or we're going to be targeting for air fuel. And when we take a look at our air fuel air, or it can be the difference from our wideband to what the actual air fuel is going to be, it's going to be shooting for this commanded air fuel here. And this is going to be, again, in fuel air. So we have to take 14.7, divide by 1.28. That's going to get up, give us our approximate air fuel that we're going to be shooting for. So that's how we get this number here. Now, um, we have one other thing we want to go over real quick here before we flash this file and then start it up and start to take a look at our doing our full throttle tuning. Jumping into open loop base, um, looking in here to EQ ratio. Now this table, when we were doing our open loop tuning, we set everything from 104 degrees and higher to an EQ of 1.0, which is equivalent of 14.7. So this was our target in open loop. Now we're transitioning from our closed loop, as we're driving around using our closed loop technique, and we're going to be transitioning from closed into open loop, and then from open loop into potentially power enrichment. Now, we have our throttle set so low in power enrichment that we should be able to transition right from closed loop right into power enrichment and have a richer air fuel. However, there may be situations where we're going to be kicking out of closed loop into open loop, but we're not going to be quite there into power enrichment. So we need to kind of tweak some values in this table here um, from 90 to 100 kPa. We're going to want to richen this up just a little bit so that it's going to transition from stoichiometric. And if we get out of closed loop into open loop, we'll transition to maybe 13.0 or 12.6 air fuel. 